Once the 381 is powered up, the main menu will be displayed. The main menu is contained in two pages. Page one contains the functions that are most often used in a, on a routine basis. Send, view, and history. The send function is used to send the last trip to the information port. This will be used to communicate with a printer or computer to generate the information I've just re read into the densitometer. View is used to view that strip, the strip I just read into the database. And lastly, history is used to access the database where that strip was stored, as well as the other strips stored in the individual database. Page two of the main menu is used to access functions not normally used in everyday operations, such as edit, the setup modes, and the reference positions. Edit allows you to set your control limits for your processor. It also allows you to enter the channel name and to change the equation format to calculate the process control parameters. It also gives you access to the channel copy mode, which will allow you to copy one channel format to the next. Setup is used to set the I.O. parameters so it can, it, the densitometer will communicate properly with a printer or computer. It, all, it is also used to set the time and date and enter the name of the hospital or institution. Lastly, reference is used to automatically enter in your reference data to give you actually, actual limits on your processing conditions. Other operating notes about the 381 densitometer. If for any reason during the operation of the unit you want to return to the main portion of the menu, simply depress the two keys on the right of the densitometer. These keys will return you back to the main portion of the menu. Also, this densitometer contains 12 individual channels or storage locations for 12 different processors. To access a different channel, simply depress these two keys and the densitometer will indicate what channel it's presently in and will also give you indication how to change to a different channel. Using the two keys directly underneath the arrow keys, you can select anywhere from channel A to channel L. And then stop at the location you would like to be in. Once you select a channel, push the exit key. And it return back to the main portion of the menu. To measure control strips on the Model 381, return to the main menu, page 1. Keep in mind these few rules when measuring film on the 381. The film itself must, must have a 1.1 inch liter of non-image area before the x right logo. This is so that the densitometer can properly recognize and orient itself to the 21 steps of density on the film. Also, you should inspect the film for any flaws or defects. This may cause the densitometer not to recognize the wedge as well. For sheet film, simply insert the film all the way to the edge of the densitometer. Insert it until the densitometer itself grabs onto the film and, and automatically reads it in. The densitometer will give you an indication that the film is being read and it has been accepted. For cine film, again, emulsion side down, insert it underneath the guide. Again, feed the strip until the unit takes hold and automatically reads the strip in. The densitometer will automatically give you an indication if it's an invalid reading. In other words, if it had problem recognizing the strip. For instance, you're feeding this strip with a short leader. densitometer flashes a warning and will give you a help message telling you basically that the strip is unrecognizable. If this should occur, try reading the strip again. If it still occurs, process another strip and try again. When the 381 finishes reading a control strip, a channel indicator will be displayed. At this point, the densitometer gives you the option of storing that control strip in any one of the 12 channel locations. If the strip we read corresponds to the channel we want to store it in, as displayed on the screen, no adjustments necessary. However, if the channel is incorrect for the, the strip we have just read into the densitometer, it may be necessary to change to a new channel. To change to the new channel, follow the keys directly displayed underneath the arrows on the LCD display. One key will cause the letters to go up, and one key will cause the letters to go down.
stop at the location where you want to store the strip. Once you are satisfied with the processor name and location, we then push the Go indicator, the key directly underneath Go on the LCD display. Next, the densitometer will display if it's within limits, if references have been turned on, and it will give you an option of adjusting the processor temperature. If this temperature has changed from the last rating, it's necessary to dial in a new temperature. Again, just like we selected channel, follow the keys directly underneath the arrows. One key will cause the numbers to go up. The other key will cause the numbers to go down. Once we are satisfied with the processor temperature, we then again push go the key directly underneath the Go indicator on the LCD display. Next, the densitometer gives you the option of how you would like to view the strip data. You can either view the measured values off the strip as calculated, or you can view the deviation from your reference values previously entered. To view the average or the actual measurements, push the key directly under measure. The first thing displayed on the densitometer is page one, which has the speed and contrast index displayed. By pushing the key directly under page one, we then cycle to page two. Page two displays base plus fog and D max. On page three of the menu, average gradient and the gamma of the film is displayed. And lastly, by cycling to page four, you can look at the processor temperature as entered earlier, as well as the densities of the individual 21 steps. Once strips have been read and stored in the densitometer, you now have the option to send the data to a peripheral device, such as a printer. The printer we supply with the S381 system is the Hewlett Packard ThinkJet. This printer will be used to generate three options of report forms. One option report form, you can send the densities of the individual 21 steps in a short print form. The second option you have is to send the process control parameters as calculated from the, the strip last read, as well as an H and D curve. And lastly, the third report option is that of the processor monitoring log. This would include all strips stored in the database with their calculated process control parameters. You have the option of generating up to three of these control parameters. It also includes the temperature of the processor for that same 32-day stretch. To use the ThinkJet printer, first insert the paper according to manufacturer's specifications. Next, apply the power with the, mon with the power pack supplied. Next, it'll be necessary to make the RS-232 connection so the densitometer can communicate with this printer. The cable supplied in includes an adapter which will fit right into the RS-232 port on the reverse of the Hewlett Packard printer. Last, turn on the power switch. The next step is to connect the RS-232 cable to the densitometer. This is easily done by following the clip connection on the side of the unit. Once the printer has been properly connected to the densitometer, we can now begin generating reports. To generate the simple format print of the 21 density steps, all we have to do at the main menu selection is hit the send key. From there, we will select the print function. The densitometer will immediately send the data information over to the, dense, over to the printer where we'll print out in the report. The second report format is accessed the same way as the first report, as the 21 steps. You simply press the send key and push the plot function. The data is then sent to the inkjet printer. This basically includes all processing control parameters from the last strip read as well as an H and D curve. The last report possible to send on the 381 is the processor monitoring log. To send the processor monitoring log, we must first access history. This is where all the individual 31 steps are stored in the database. By hitting history, you then get the option to either display on screen or go to the printer. If I push display, or the key directly under display, it gives you the option of looking at the measured values or the deviations from your references. When I hit measured, the time and date appear of the last strip read into the database. 
by pushing the key directly into the arrow furthest to the left of the densitometer, I can go back in time. On the opposite end of the densitometer, I push the key directly into the arrow, and I go forward in time. I also can look through each of the individual process control parameters for that individual strip. To go back to send the data to a printer, we again hit history and hit printer. The information is then sent over the Hewlett Packard printer. 